Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We from group 4 will present the result of our discussion as a form of full willment of the parasitology task regarding monobotrium sp and valipora sp. Then we will introduce our group members starting from 1. Rita Dwi Nandira 2. Siska Adilia Sitompul 3. Korea Adenu Fasil 4. Mahdani Aulia Rahma 5. Suliyani 6. Kurnia Ulhaki And the last one is Muhammad Selamat Mariadi Okay, following the result of our discussion, first we will describe the classification of Monobotrium sp. Monobotrium sp of Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Platyhelminthes, Class Castoda, Ordo Cycloplidea, Family Tainidae, Genus Monobotrium, and Species Monobotrium sp. Monobotrium sp is a castor worm with a prominent raw nodule. A full-size worm is 0.8 micrometer and diameter of 0.4 micrometer. Monobotrium sp include many inclusion with electron dense bodies and vesicle. In the outer epithelium, there is a scolic area that is large in number of vesicle and electron dense secretory granules. Parasite in freshwater fish. Monobotrium sp is in the parasite and habitat intestine. Parasite monobotrium sp usually comes from the intestine of the fish, which is then released into the water with the feces. Then the eggs that are released into the water develop into onconspire. The onconspire is believed to be digested by the oligocyte worms as an intermediate host. Then the infect oligocyte is eaten by fish as the definitive host. Monobotrium is a genus of Castoda which is an endoparasite organism that can attack freshwater fish, one of which is the African catfish. Endoparasite will stick to the host until there is damage to the fish organs and cause death. In addition, endoparasite also cause slow growth and development in fish. The monobotrium attack to the host is usually found in the intestine of the fish. The method of examining endoparasite organism in catfish is that after anesthetic the dissection fish and the digestive tract are removed and put into physiological and HCL. The intestine will slice and the parasite phone will collect into bottles containing 70% alcohol. Furthermore, the specimen is examined under a microscope at 10x 4D magnification and identified. Okay, this picture is monobotrium sp infect the intestine. Cross section through the intestine infect by monobotrium sp show a clear inflammatory response through the lining of the intestine. Attachment by penetrating the intestine as far as the muscularis. Lateral extension of the scolic anchor and inside the inflammatory nodule. Several pathological change extends through the muscle with a lymphoplasmacytic inflammatory response markedly reduced intestinal lumen. The fibroblastic tissue is adjacent to the host parasite interface with a reduced number of inflamed cell. Okay, the next discussion about the classification of Valibora sp. Valibora sp of Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Platyhelminthes, Class Castoda, Ordo Cycloplidea, Family Gaiporinchidae, Genus Valibora, Species Valibora Campylenchristrota, Valibora Minuta, Valibora Mutabilis, Valibora Spinosa, Valibora sp. Valibora sp are intestinal type worms of beard, mainly herons with a cosmopolitan distribution. The genus includes 15 described species. Long segment and top leg are cal tape worms. Dorsal ventrally flattened. The scolic is of medium size and it is full sugar but no hugs. A full size worm is 25 until 70 cm long. The size of strobila depends on the worm burden. There are three regions in an adult worm. 1. Head of scolic. 2. Neck. Three strobila or body or trunk consists of a change of many egg production unit called proclotid, which develop distal and of the skull like or head. The region of growth or neck, which is located immediately behind the head, are immature proclotid. 
The entire chain of proclotid is trubula. The life cycle of Valibora sp serve as the first intermediate host in the body cavity of which metacastoda became infective after two weeks. After ingestion by the second intermediate host, the metacastoda migrate from the intestinal lumen to the gallbladder. In the bird definitive host, the parasite mature after 20 until 50 days. When the first eggs release, the longevity of the castoda in the definitive host was estimated to be about nine months. Okay, this table is comparative data on measurement in micrometers of frostolar hogs of three species of Valiopora sp. Valiopora sp can attack the epithelium of the gallbladder in fish. At the larva stage of this species, it can invite more than 100 types of fresh weather fish. This species can also exist in the human body by means of fish infected with Valibora will be eaten by birds, and the birds are eaten by humans. And generally, this species has spread in the Palearctic zone. Infection of Valibora sp often occurs in the fish family Centrasidae, Heptaridae, and Poecilidae. This type of species show tolerance to a wide range of intent hosts. And this picture of a mature proclotid from Perseid recovered in Butorides triata species. This discussion is created by several journal reference. The following journals that we use, what if the gardens are still curious to read more from this journal? So many presentations from the four group discussion. I'm sorry if I have a mistake. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Goodbye